Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. All right, looking at that weather trend, we have been heating up today, right? Getting into the 90s, up to 96 in Boise. Tomorrow, even hotter. Now showing 102 in Boise for the high temperature tomorrow. 95 on Friday, and the trend will be to dip it down on Saturday, but still at 93, and then going right back up to near the century mark as we go through the end of the weekend and the beginning of next week. And then the middle part of the next week, we'll have to see. Uh, we may get this little drop in temperature, this little drop in temperature with a possible rise towards the end of next week as that uh, ridge of high pressure and hot weather starts to become firmly anchored uh, over the south southwest states, starts to build to the north. Headed to Lucky Peak tomorrow to do some boating. If you're not out there tonight, should be nice this evening. Tomorrow, 75 in the morning, a lot warmer than it was this morning. Getting well into the 90s, we'll have a little bit of a breeze, nothing major. Blue skies are likely, and high temperatures will get to the upper 90s by 7 o'clock will be uh, right around 95 degrees. How about the temperature change here in the last 24 hours? It is 22 degrees warmer right now over the Boise area. So all of this region is at the dramatic warm up as that cool air is sliding on off to the east and there's more heating coming in for tomorrow. And with that, the fire danger to our west. There are red flag warnings in effect in South Central Washington, West Central or Central portions of Oregon and even down to Northern California as well, or actually Southwest uh, Oregon. We've California's got their own issues. And then the kind of the real time fire danger picks up a little bit. Mountain home, Twin Falls area. Just keep in mind it's getting hot. It's drying out and that fire danger is there. We have to be thinking about that uh, because this is the time of year it starts to take off. I was looking at the latest fire maps. All kinds of fires in Colorado, in Utah, Nevada, even Oregon, up into Washington here and of course down in California. Here's the fire danger. Red flag warning. When you see the red, that means if a fire starts for whatever reason, it is likely to spread rapidly due to the dry conditions and just the way the atmosphere is set up. So uh, we've got a lot of red around. It's going to push to the north. You see that six and twin fall showing that it's uh, the fire conditions are getting worse in the Magic Valley. So it's getting hotter in the northwest. It's definitely hot in the southwest. The darker red here, these heat indices over 100 degrees today. It's starting to drop off as the sun's getting ready to set or later in the evening. But wow, it has been hot. Now we've got excessive heat warnings in the southwest, southern Nevada, southeast California in the desert around Phoenix and much of western Arizona. We're talking about pretty hot temperatures. You get to above 110, 111, you start seeing those warnings coming out and heat advisory still for the, uh, the Ohio Valley and up into New England as well. It has been a hot start to the summer, just not here. Watch all the people enjoying themselves in McCall here on the volleyball court and the pathways there. The restaurant is packed. It's 78 degrees. That's with the five o'clock rating. It has been beautiful in the McCall area and it gets even warmer during the day tomorrow, getting up to 88, so near 90 degrees at 5,000 feet. So that's a good way to get a little bit of a break from the heat. There will be some cloud cover pushing through on Friday, but it won't be terrible at 81. More sunshine for Saturday and a nice comfortable drop in temperature to 79. Here's what's happening in Sun Valley. 86 degrees tomorrow, 87 on Friday, and we drop that temperature to 83 during the day on Saturday. So lots of sunshine, some clouds near the McCall area, but points north. These clouds should not affect us tonight. It is hot and it is dry, and that heat continues to build around this low pressure system offshore. That's the cool air going offshore now instead of hitting us and that brings the hot weather right into our direction and that is going to be the case as we go through tomorrow as well. Let's take a look at my exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today and you'll see the temperatures for the first time topping 100 degrees. Got some updated numbers for you here. Boise at a 102, Vail, Weezer 102, 102 in Ontario as well and between 102 to 103 maybe even a 104 in the desert south of Mountain Home. It is going to be a scorcher close to 100 in Garden Valley, near 90 in Pine and Featherville, and near 90 in the mountains, close to 100 degrees in Riggins tomorrow, while the Stanley Sun Valley area, some nice weather with temperatures in the mid 80s and sunshine. It's going to be hot, it's going to be dry, drink lots of fluids, and you know, we're just shifting into that summer gear. Yeah. Whew, Fast, two. very quickly, 102 yes. tomorrow. All right, be careful we'll with speed the ahead, fireworks yeah. too, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. thanks Scott. Crews in Thailand still desperate